Lots of folks are planning to get away this Memorial Day weekend. Travel experts say this will be the busiest Memorial Day weekend in more than two decades. 42 million Americans are expected to travel. More than 3 million of them will fly, 11% higher than 2022. Travel expert Pauline Fromer. I hope flying will be okay, but I'm worried it will be a nightmare. There still are staff shortages, so that means longer lines at security, huge lines at concessions if you get hungry. Why are so many Americans looking to get away? Well, experts say it has a lot to do with pent-up wanderlust. This will be the first holiday since the official end of the pandemic was declared. There may not be enough places for people to park at many airports, so consider getting an Uber or taxi instead of driving yourself. Travel industry executive Gabriela Ribeiro has packing down to a science. I hear you always pack a carry-on. You never check a bag. Never check a bag, because once you lose your bag, you'll never go through that again. You'll be surprised how much stuff you can fit into a carry-on if you know what you're doing. One tip I always tell people is to stuff as much as you can into shoes. And wear the biggest shoes you're bringing. I wear the worst ones when I travel. The highest ones, the, the bulkiest ones. So these would come with me, and instead I'd pack all the shoes I want. Of course, most people will drive. AAA's Robert Sinclair says timing is everything. If you can leave before noon or 1 p.m. on Thursday and Friday, do it. As for the return trip home, either start out early or leave late. Monday, return day, probably starting 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It'll start to get busy, and that'll probably carry you on into the evening.